If you think the job market is competitive, then brace up. The competition may just be about to get many folds tougher. The tech space has been in a frenzy recently. Approximately 35,000 workers have been laid off across 72 tech companies. First, it was Elon Musk, his Twitter takeover, and the massive layoff that followed. Zuckerberg's meta caught the frenzy and also laid off employees. Now there is a news report about Amazon, and it's planned to also lay off. If you think these are connected, you're not entirely wrong. In this video, you will get to know about exclusive updates on the recent layoff wave in the tech industry. You will also get to understand why these layoffs are happening and why they're happening now. Finally, the video would hint at the possible effects of these layoffs on the job market. You do not want to miss these. Stick around, your hunches and suspicions may just be right or not. Let's get into it. What companies are laying off employees and why? In case you missed some, let us see a list of some of the tech companies that laid off employees, how many employees they laid off and why. Meta. On Wednesday, 9th of October, Meta, the parent company of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, laid off 13% of its global workforce. This amounts to a total of 11,000 people. The layoff spanned across departments, especially engineering, human resource, and marketing. It also spanned regions including West Africa, America, and Asia. Mark Zuckerberg attributed the cutdown to a miscalculation during the pandemic and the growth rate it triggered in the company. According to him, the company is trying to cut costs and reduce redundancies. Amazon Multiple credible sources like CNBC and the New York Times have reported that Amazon is planning to lay off employees. The e-commerce company is reportedly planning to lay off approximately 10,000 employees. Projections say that the layoffs would majorly affect the device organization, retail, and human resource division. The number would only represent about 3% of the company's corporate workforce population. Globally, the layoffs would affect just about 1% of the company's workforce. However, this projected layoff would be the largest the company has done since its inception. The most probable cause for this layoff would be the nosedive in the company's third quarter profit and the corresponding decrease in shares. The company has also recently shut down some of its operations to re-strategize and stay within the profit range. Twitter Recently, the social media company experienced a transfer of ownership after a $44 billion deal. After his takeover, Elon Musk laid off 3,700 people out of the total Twitter workforce. The layoff affected workers 50% of the company's workforce. Elon Musk, the new owner of the company, gave reasons that ranged from content moderation, cost-cutting, product marketing and development, and managerial ease. Former company boss Jack Dorsey apologized for growing the company too quickly as a reaction to the ownership switch and the employee layoff. Coinbase The crypto industry has also had its fair share of the tech drama. There is the FTX crash and liquidation, then there's the layoff wave. Coinbase announced laying off 18% of its workforce in June 2022. About 1,100 people were affected by this layoff. As of then, the company attributed the layoffs to the economic downturn. The CEO stated that the company had overhired and needed to cut down costs. Recently, the company announced a new round of layoffs primarily due to the liquidation of FTX and its effects on the cryptocurrencies and the crypto industry. The layoff will affect just about 60 employees out of the company's workforce. Stripe the fintech giant laid off about 14% of its workforce on the 3rd of November 2022. This 14% is about 1,100 employees, just like Zuckerberg, the CEO, attributed the cut to misjudging company and industry growth. The co-founder highlighted the global economic tragedy and the need for the company to make proactive adjustments. Microsoft On the 17th of October 2022, Microsoft confirmed its layoff decision through its spokesperson. This decision has been made three months before confirmation, and it affected less than 1% of the company. The company did not disclose the specific number of workers it laid off. However, Axios reported that it affected less than 1,000 employees. The tech giant also laid employees off to cut costs. Meanwhile, the company's revenue has projected to slow down earlier in July. This may also have contributed to the decision of the company to reduce its workforce population. Salesforce The Silicon Valley giant confirmed it has laid off employees without specifying the exact number. The company, through the CEO, announced that this company is letting go of under 1,000 employees due to the need for cost cuts. The Salesforce layoff is not on the same scale as that of Meta or Twitter, but it has the same underlining reason. Before this action, Salesforce had over 70,000 employees across the globe. Lyft On the 3rd of November 2022, the ride-hailing company announced an employee cut that affected 13% of its workforce population. The CEO, Logan Green, attributed the layoff to the recent inflation and the recession it may cause to the global economy. He also highlighted the possibility of a spike in rideshare insurance. The total number of affected workers amounts to just 700. While expanding on the layoff, the CEO stated that the company did it to increase performance, reduce layers of management, and meet a new saving goal. What do these layouts mean? Before you get lost in the news of layoffs, just a tiny percentage of the total company population has laid off employees. However, these layoffs are bound to have ripple effects on the industry and the economy, especially in the USA. 
The ripple effects may spread to advert companies, media houses, and marketing agencies. There are other companies like Loom, Sync, and Tesla that have announced layoffs, and as a result of the global recession, tech companies are reconsidering hiring decisions and redesigning their objectives. We should expect more layoffs and expenditure cuts in the coming days. And that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for coming around to watch this episode. Do you think layoffs might be opportunities to secure better roles? How should former employees adapt to their new circumstances? Leave your thoughts in the comments section, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. See you in the next one.